Hi fellow makeup fans, today I'm going to do a little video showing you my collection of cream shadows and I'm going to talk about the brushes that I use to put them on. I'm actually wearing a look using mostly cream shadows today and that will be the next video up if you want to catch that. And I'm going to talk about what I've um, got shadow wise but there are some shadows that I'm actually going to leave out of this video although they technically are creams. These are the electrical shadows from MAC. I'm about to do a whole MAC collection video um, that was requested so I kind of want to leave those to the MAC collection video but you can definitely check those out there um, but I did use coil in today's tutorial and you'll be able to see that in the upcoming video um, beautiful beautiful color I love the electric cool shadows I do tend to use them quite a lot they may they're beautiful colors on their own but they also make incredibly good bases so moving on to the actual tattoos that I've got we'll start I'll start and show you those now okay so the reason I actually got into color tattoos was because of this color this is turquoise forever I'm incredibly into aqua colours and teal colours at the moment and when I saw this in a 3 for 2 at Maybelline I couldn't resist it. I'd actually gone to get the purple gel liner which I thought looked really nice and I like the Maybelline gel liner. The only thing is it does dry out quite quickly um, so that's a little bit of a downside but um, yeah I actually went for that purple liner and I saw this and I just thought that is just such an amazing vibrant colour. So I picked that up and then I thought I just, well it's 3 for 2 so I might as well get something else so I actually picked up my other colour which is actually um, probably my favourite of them all um, but we'll get to that one <laughs> I've got them all out in front of me and I'm a bit confused where that one is but this is the first one I got and I'll do some swatches I'll put them, yeah, I'll put them on my arm you should be able to see them okay so that one is turquoise forever now as you can see they are very very pigmented shadows, they're really beautiful, they're very easy to work with. I like to apply them with my finger or a selection of the brushes that I will show you at the end of the video. But you can put them on with your finger, they're actually really easy to work with. Um, just really nice and creamy and they blend out beautifully, you can work really well with them. They do make good liners as well as good shadows as well so it's good that they're kind of a multi-use product. The next one I'm going to show you is this one that I got from Sue from the Real Brits of NY. I'm so grateful for this because I'm obsessed with teal. This one is Tenacious Teal. Now the packaging is slightly different um, from the American ones. So this is the difference in the lids. The lids in the UK have the actual colour on them. But when you turn them over there's not a huge amount of difference. The only thing is this is slightly smaller because the lid is too small to fill on the other glass jar. I only realised that because I tried to put the wrong lid on. So this is Tenacious Teal. Oh, this is I've got this one on today. I love this colour. It's so beautiful. And that's it there. So you can see that they're actually they are quite close, but this is just a lot brighter than this one, which is definitely more um, noticeable in person. I store them. Well, I store them like people store paint pots because it's recommended to keep them as moist for as long as possible. You store them upside down. So you store them with the lid down, which is really good because it's glass on this side. And I think that's how, why they're designed this way with the glass this side. So you can kind of look down on them and just kind of um, see which colour that you're picking out, which is really handy. But I'm going to show you how I store them as well at the end of the video. So the next one is another one of Sue. This one is Edgy Emerald. Beautiful green. <laughs> Just throw on the lid. That's it there. That's just such a beautiful true emerald colour. It's really gorgeous. The next one is Endless Purple. I haven't actually used this one yet. as you can see they all just have beautiful colour payoff, really vibrant and that's just an absolutely gorgeous purple, really rich true purple colour. The next one is light in purple. Now this looks blue and I, tried, I looked at this in the shop and I was like I'm not too sure about this. Um, so what I did was I put it on and then I went over to the window so that I could get a true light and it actually comes up a very sort of silvery lilac colour when it's on. It's very very deceiving. So that's it there which it is looking very blue um, but if I was to go outside in the light it would look very lilac. It's a very very pretty colour though, very unique. The next colour is pink gold. This is lovely. Beautiful pink with an iridescent gold. 
Uh, it's coming off more gold in person, but um, on the camera, but in person you can see the true pink. The next one's a lovely one off that I got from Sue from the Real Brits of NY. This is pomegranate. So this pomegranate is definitely not coming up the same on camera. It's just a very beautiful, very, very deep burgundy colour. And it does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a shimmer to it as well. It's really nice. I think that one's going to be coming out in the UK because there is a colour co coming out called metallic pomegranate. And I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be that colour. Um, but there's an everlasting navy coming out which I'm really excited to get because I can't wait to try a navy shadow. I've wanted to get one for a long time. Uh, the next colour is Eternal Gold. I wasn't sure about this when I first got it, um, but it's grown on me to be honest. I'm actually going to move down here now. It's a bit yellowy. I'm not into yellowy golds, um, but it's actually not too bad when you put it on. Um, there's a new one out called 24 Karat Gold. It's far too yellow for me. It really is a very yellow gold and I don't like that. The next one is... Oh, Permanent Taupe. Permanent Taupe, my favourite of them all. This also makes a beautiful base. That's it there. It's just a beautiful matte sort of taupe colour. Really, really nice, and I've actually got that one on today. The next one is on and on bronze. I kind of hummed and hard of whether I was going to get this one or not because I'm not a massive bronze sort of fan. Um, but I eventually gave in and got it. It is quite nice. I haven't actually used this in a look yet, but I think that it's quite a unique colour. I think it'll actually work really well. It's kind of like a very tarnished antique gold colour, so... The next one is Eternal Silver. Really love this one. Really, really pretty. True silver. Just gorgeous. I'm going to do a bigger swatch. Lovely. Love that. Um, definitely not showing up to its true potential on camera with the light and everything, but gorgeous. The next colour is Immortal Charcoal, which is just a charcoal. That's a bad place to swatch. That's it. That's just a lovely smoky charcoal grey. Really, really nice. Like that one. It's a really lovely colour. The next one is another one from Sue. Um, the Real Brits of NY. This is gorgeous. This one's called Too Cool. And it's just a beautiful frosty white. That's it there. And the last one I've saved, the absolute best for last, is Timeless Black. Oh, so, so beautiful. And the intensity of this is amazing. So, I'm going to put that up here. Look at that. That is crazy, crazy black. And I've actually got that on today and I've got to use it as a liner today. You can actually use this as a liner. It works really, really well. Um, beautiful what I'll do is I'll just show you black round by Mac um, I don't mind showing this one even though it's gonna be in the collection video because I want to put this one next to timeless black so this one is black round by Mac this is a paint pot and I'm gonna put this one next to um, timeless black and there you go so you can see that the intensity is not there. It's not as intense a black as that one. But it is a lovely black. I really like it. If you don't want to go for that mega, mega intense black, it just is the next step down. So you don't have to smoke the other one out or, you know, work with it particularly much. And you can see that black ground is darker um, than the charcoal. I'll do a swatch next to charcoal. There you go. So it is darker. Um, but it's really lovely and it's just lovely to work with and I, I like using this one as a liner as well because you just get a lovely sort of very smudgy black and I used it as a liner in my inspired video um, it's a new series of videos that I'm doing and the first one was um, Nashville inspired and I actually used that as a liner in that video so now I definitely need a baby wipe so I'll show you where I store them now I actually keep them in this drawer and like I said, they're all lid down, and then you can just see the colours and you can pick out which one you want. So I think that's really useful. And I think 
definitely, I definitely use them a lot more now that they're in that drawer and I can reach for them easier. So now I'm going to move on and talk to you about the brushes that I use with them. So I've got four that I particularly use to love with them. Love to use with them. Any. <laughs> I mean. Um, I've got the Barry M liner brush, which I can't rave about enough. This is an amazing fine liner eyeliner brush. It's angled. And I use this to apply them as liners. Um, under the eye and on top of the eye as well and they do a nice wing as well but that's lovely for use with creams obviously because it's used with gels. <laughs> then I've got two MAC brushes and I've got a 212 which is an incredibly razor fine liner brush. This is really useful for putting them on under the eye and I've actually used this in the look today. Um, it's really really good and as you can see it's got turquoise forever <laughs> kind of staining but it does wash out the brushes so it doesn't stain the brushes permanently so that's really good for underneath the eye or if I want to do anything like a really sharp in the crease I can apply it with this and then blend it out with another brush and then this one is the best one that I found this is the 242 um, I actually asked somebody because they were doing a video with cream shadows and her cream shadows were just going on so beautifully and I asked what brush she was using and it was this one. And then the funny thing was that Chris, um, with the Archie's Girls collection this is the one that came in the brush set. Because these are just mini MAC brushes, they're not full size ones. Full size ones are incredibly expensive. Um, <laughs> totally not going off track that. Um, Okay, so MAC brushes are very expensive individually but if you buy them in a brush set then they're a lot cheaper and they work out a massively amount cheaper. Some people say they're not the same quality to me, they are. I th well to me I'm not used to expensive brushes so their quality is fantastic to me and you don't need them to have the super long handles, they're just the special editions so they are quite short but that's fine. So this is great for applying cream shadows because it's flat and that's what you want, you don't want a bristly brush like this because when you put that into the cream the cream distributes on all of the bristles and they're not even it's like shaped in a dome so when you go to apply it on and you're pressing you kind of like not getting a very flat effect or a, like you get a very streaky sort of effect and it can actually cause smudging where you don't want it to go so what you need to do is use a flat brush nice flat bristles and then you can just take the product onto the flat surface and then when you run it across your skin it's just completely going on flat and you're getting everything that's on the side of the brush so that's just what I find is best for applying the cream shadows but I do use a fluffy brush to blend them um, so you can use a fluffy brush but just not in the actual application another good brush that I actually use is this Urban Decay one this but this one is flat on the side as well this is an eye shadow brush but because it's got that flat side where all the bristles are the same length, that's perfect. So you don't necessarily need to go and get one of these MAC brushes. Um, you can just use a brush as long as it's got flatness and on the side and it's not too thick. And that's it basically. What I will say is that it's a good idea to set cream shadows once you've got them on and it keeps them just a little bit intense. Um, also it's you've got to use a base with them I would say um, or I prefer to. I use the um, Dainty Doll one in Frankie Girl and I use that because it's quite a nice thick consistency and it's got a little bit of a stickiness to it. It's not sticky but you can feel it on your lid and it just it really helps the cream shadows kind of stick better. Um, also you when you apply them and you brush them on you want to also go over over and pat it so that it's patted flat and it just seems to last really well that way but I always put fix plus over the top to keep them nice and vibrant and keep them in place but you can also use um, sprayed water as well there's an Evian Brumisateur this is the first fixing spray I ever used and it's Evian Brumisateur if you want to check out my little review on fixing sprays you can always check out my blog and if you go on my main channel page it's on the bar where my picture is and my channel name but it's also always in the information bar below I always link my blog there and I did a little review on my fix and sprays I've only got three but I did a little review on them if you want to check that out maybe um, but a spray of this just sets everything but also just a spray of this is really great because if you've put powder on sometimes you get that powdery finish and if you spray yourself with a water or a fix and spray it just stops you looking so powdery and just kind of sets everything in place so so I would definitely recommend using a fix and spray just to keep the vibrancy and just to keep those creams in place because obviously they're creams um, 
they are just a little bit more movable than a powder shadow is. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Kerry, for requesting this video. I've really enjoyed doing it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I'm going to love you all and leave you and see you all soon. Bye.